I am uh, Erika Frans from Sensoa, which is the Flemish uh, speaking part of Belgium. Uh, expertise center about sexual health. And we invest a lot of energy in uh, education and uh, working with uh, teachers and professionals working with young people and children. And one of the issues that is uh, one of the major uh, attention the last years was sexual violence. So we developed a lot of uh, materials and things about it. And I'm, I wanted to talk to you about the flag system, which is a method that we, we developed to um, what the, the former speaker said, it's important to to have to, to, you have to talk about experiences, you have to mention what your feelings are, and the flag system will help you in this uh, thing. Sexting is one of the teams that is part of the whole uh, story about sexual uh, behavior and sexual abusive behavior, but you can use the flag system for the broad area of all uh, behavior that is not, not really okay, or even more, even if behavior is okay, then you can use a flag system. So it's only an example I want to give you. If you want more information, there is a lot of information, only in Dutch, but you can translate it in your own language and use it. So, I want to, to talk about sexting. Sexting is uh, behavior that is exchanging images and talks uh, on the internet, digital uh, information about sexuality, your own sexuality. So there is a, a big issue and it's quite dangerous to do so. So why is it so dangerous to do so? Uh, because a lot of reasons, it's very easy. I can do it, you can do it, uh, my grandchild can do it. And it is very easy to share and to repost images, even images you don't make yourself, but images you get to repost them. And it's easy for everyone. So everyone can, can share and, and uh, exchange images in this way, which is good, but it's also dangerous. So it's very difficult when you uh, exchange images of yourself and your body and sex uh, to always check the privacy settings and, and to, to see if there's not unwanted exposure and you have to be extra careful. But sexuality is an issue of the heart. It's an emotional thing. So it's never, your mind is never there always to, um, to take care. So it's um, emotional. Uh, people are curious but you can also see that in a lot of uh, issues about uh, sexting, that the effects of exchanging unwanted images is very traumatic. And we often blame the victim, uh, which is not the one who should be blamed, but it's, it's, it's happening. And it is an impact on a lot of people for a long time because you cannot delete the images that, that easy. So this is the reason why it is a problem. But my question for, for the beginning of the, of the talk was, is it always a red flag? And a red flag means problems. So my question is, is it always a red flag? And I want to, to, to take you through some examples and discuss some details of these examples. And this is one of the situation, a boy shows his penis on a webcam. Um, and the question is, is it okay or not? So I think you always, you already have a lot of questions eh? because this boy, how old is he? Is he uh, 12 years old or is he 17? Can make a difference. Uh, who is the person on the other side? Is this a boy? Is this a girl? Is the age of the boy of the girl? Is this important? Um, is the other person agreeing about what uh, what's happening there and about what he or she is she is seeing is the privacy safe is the is there no one else in the room is there no one else in the other room who is uh, watching this behavior is the other person can you trust him 
or her? Does he make recordings? And have you agreed out it? Are there other people involved? You know, there's a lot of questions that I should uh, take care of before I can answer the question, is this okay or not okay? So I'm going to do, to move to uh, a specific part of this uh, behavior. Suppose that this boy is 16 years old and he shows his penis to a girl of five years old and he does this by surprise. And she is shocked, she's anxious. So this for certain that we know this is not okay. Uh, why is this not okay? And now it's important to really to, to think about why is this not okay? And then we have different, diff, diff, different arguments. So we know the age of the girl is five years old. She's not age appropriate. She's not asking for this sort of behavior. She's not asking for pictures of penises to have on her screen. So it's not, it's not good for her age. The second is that there is a big age difference between this boy of 16 and a, a girl of five. So a boy of 16 has other issues in his mind and a girl of five. So it's better not to mingle these two together. She did not agree. She did not ask for this behavior. And the boy did it by surprise. So he did not warn the, the, the girl, watch, uh, I'm going to do this so that she could say, no, thank you. So this is the reason why this is a red flag situation of sexting. It's seriously unacceptable sexual behavior. But let's move to another uh, example, the same picture. But now the boy is showing his penis to another boy of 15 years old, and they agreed about it. They said, okay, let's do this. Let's show penises but they did not make any agreements. So is this okay or not okay? Boys are the same age, no difference in age. So they both are in the age category that, they, that this, this behavior is okay. They both agree about it, we want it. There is no pressure or no uh, coercion involved. This behavior, it's appropriate for their age because at 15 years old, this is the things you want to do. But the thing is, do they trust each other? Is the one recording this behavior? Is the privacy safe and are other people involved? So you know, this is not really completely okay because there could be some things that are not okay. There could be recordings, there could be um, flus in the information. So this is not a good, it's not a red flag, but we call it a yellow flag. And a yellow flag is not a green flag. So the yellow flag is it's moderately unacceptable behavior. Yes. And then this, this example, again, the same image, but now the boy shows his penis to his girlfriend. And she asked for it. And they promise not to make pictures or exchange information about it to others. So when I ask you, is this okay or not okay, then you should say, yes, well, they both agreed. There is no pressure. They are uh, equal. It's age appropriate. It's safe. And there is no negative impact. So this is a, an example of a sexting situation that is a green flag. So we can say, okay, this is acceptable behavior for young children that age. So this is the way we use the flag system. So the flag system uh, works with six criteria. Why is this important? Because when a situation happens, you're emotional, you're angry, you're hurt, and people uh, tend to, to, to discuss too much or to be in, in conflict too much. And this uh, flag system helps you to uh, really think about what is okay and not okay and why. So in the 10 years that we are working with the flag system, we discovered that these six criteria really match every sexual situation you're in to say if the sexual, sexual situation is green, which is okay, 
or is black, which is completely not okay, based on these six criteria. So you have just to check if, is this, are to do, the two people consenting? Is this voluntary or is there some sort of coercion uh, happening? Are the people equal? How is it in their development? Is this okay for the development stage? Is it okay for the context you're in? And is your self-respect, is the impact not negative? So if all these criteria are okay, then you are in the green flag. So the green flag means it's sexual acceptable behavior, it's harmless behavior, it's okay. Because we don't want to problematize sexuality. Sexuality is a good thing. Uh, you should enjoy sexuality, but you have to, st to stick to the green flags. Then the yellow flag is moderately transgressive or abusive behavior. So this means a lot of this in your youth, and in your growing up, try to experiment and let some things go wrong. But the yellow flag is, is normal, if we uh, can use the word. What is not good and not normal is the red flag. The red flag is seriously unacceptable behavior. Uh, when you really uh, transgress uh, borders or limits of other people, and the black flag is seriously transgressive behavior. So what is this uh, helping you? Your four flags is a way of communicating. Uh, we get, for instance, phone calls from parents, phone calls from, from young, young people, phone calls from schools who tell us, we think we have a red flag. What are we going to do? So it's a, a lot of a way of communicating about the seriousness of the transgressive behavior. It helps you also to see what measures should be taken afterwards, after the, uh, the evaluation of the situation. Let's go to some other examples. A boy of 15 contacts a girl who posts daring pictures on her profile and asks for more pictures. So here the girls are making their own initiative. Uh, the boy is just asking, give, give, give me some more pictures. So the girls are consenting. They, they want to do it. They do it voluntarily. They are really equal because the same age. Uh, that people do this in this age, it's okay. But the context of the online situation makes it a little bit dangerous because they, the girls don't ask the boy, what are you going to do with his pictures? Are you going to, to post them further? Are you going to, to keep them on your computer or on your cell phone, show, to, show them to others? Um, so this is not okay. And the next one is also not okay, the self-harm. Can the boy be uh, harmed by these pictures? Yes, because he keeps them on his computer and his screen, so this is not okay. So this is a yellow flag, an, an example of a yellow flag situation where you could say to the boy, no, you have to do something different. It's not because the girls are exposing themselves and you have to ask for more pictures, it's not okay. This is another situation. Here is 27 year old man seeks contact through dating app to gay man and asks 15 year old boys to send naked photos of themselves. So you see on the picture, the boy with his head, so it's recognizable. Uh, we can see who he is, we can see uh, who his identity is. So it's, uh, uh, if you see to the, the different uh, criteria here, you see it's a black flag. And also it's a situation that uh, in, in Belgium, uh, although uh, you could be, um, judged by a jury that it's uh, uh, it's not legal situation so it's uh, a black flag in our opinion so you see that in uh, adapting it and uh, using it in trying to evaluate situations that you come up to certain flags for certain behaviors this is a girl it is a girl with a mental impairment but it doesn't really take any it, it isn't uh, helping or it isn't influencing our judgment, but she receives pictures uh, of a naked uh, girl and this sends it through to the whole school. 
So also this one, uh, there is no consent of the, the girl whose picture is sent, there is no voluntary engagement, there's no equal equality. Age appropriate, yeah, you can say at 16 year old that this things you, you don't think about and you do, but the context isn't safe and she can harm herself because people will know that she will have done it, so it's a red flag. So you see, you have flag situations, you can compare situations, you can ask in education, how bad is this and what flag do you give to a situation? This is what we teach. We teach this to children, we teach this to young people, to educators, to be able to talk to each other about uh, how serious uh, the situation is. This is an overview of all the situations the, 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 the matrix, um, so you can use this matrix to evaluate every situation you have on the, in sexuality and to come up with a color of flag. And that color of flag will help you to, to, to know what are the steps that you have to take in this situation, because it's different when it's yellow or red or black, or even when it's green, you can discover it is green too. So then you say, okay, no problem, it is green. We don't have to do anything. But there are also some extra factors that we take into account to evaluate situations. It is the intensity. Intensity will means in sexuality, if it's uh, more intimate, more naked, then it's more intense. The frequency, is this the first time you do it or is it the 10 time you do it? This will have an influence. And is the perpetrator or the offender conscious of what he is doing? So also this will take it, we will take into account this way and see if the, uh, the, the yellow flag can turn into a red flag because of these extra criteria, extra factors. So how do we use the criteria? Because the flag system is mostly an educational, a pedagogical system. So we use the system to make a bridge. And this is just a symbol. You cannot understand what is there because it's in the, the words there. You don't have to try to, to read it. But we try to make the bridge from the behavior you have now to the behavior to the green flag. So what are, are we going to learn to make this behavior in, uh, uh, change into a green flag, then you have to, to look to the criteria. Do we have to learn to make it more in consenting? Uh, is it about coercion or is it about equality? Is it about development? So what is the thing you have to learn? What do you have to change in your behavior to make it a green flag? This is the idea behind it, that everyone can change his behavior into a green flag. And if someone explains you what is uh, what is there wrong and and not, and we have also made a, a sort of matrix in a, in how to respond. So you see the the green, the yellow, the red, and the black, and you see some some steps to take into the uh, the talk you have to do, and it's always the same the same uh, the same steps you have to take. But in the green flag, you just have to describe the situation, how you feel, and why it's okay and what is okay. In the yellow flag, you always have to explain what is not okay. In the red flag, you have always to explain what is not okay, but also what is the effect of your, uh, of your behavior, but also, okay, what are we going to do now? What is, what is uh, the, the agreement that we have? And you have to report behavior to others you have to say something to someone because a red flag is really bad the same with the the black flag but then you want that there is a follow-up on uh, the behavior of the black flag so i just uh, made it into um, a red flag situation of the girl who is sending pictures naked pictures to others so it, it could be something like this. You are sending this naked picture through to the whole school. How do you feel about it? How did you think that this, is, this was okay? So I went to, Africa, uh, to check with her and her feelings. And then you have to say it's okay to look at pictures at them 
in your mailbox. But without consent of the people involved, it's not okay to send them through. You are the responsible for what you send. Um, because you will probably hurt people that are on these pictures. And I will report it. So this is a, an example of a sort of a conversation you can have with people who are having a red flag behavior. And this is what we do in, uh, in sexuality education. We have 150 of these situations uh, in drawings. Uh, we discuss the situations and we try to come up with a flag. What flag is it? And then we discuss how are we going to react to these situations. It can be that we are involved, but it can also be that we are just uh, watching or showing or uh, we are spectators we are we are not involved in the situation but it, our friends are involved so I have to talk to my friend to have help her or him to change his behavior so it helps everyone to make up a little bit uh, the, the the basics of how to uh, to react to one another how to um, to behave in a way that everyone keeps the group flag ahead and not sexuality in the corner, but sexuality in the middle of your life. Sexuality is really important. But to help discuss all these situations of a behavior that is not okay, give it a flag and try to change your behavior into a green flag situation. So all these materials... Uh, in a, it's, it's all in Dutch. We have a, some of the materials translated in English, uh, but it will be available soon in, in, um, on, on a digital way. But uh, this time we also we can give it to you and you can use it whatever you want. In education, these discussion uh, plates are there already. Uh, and we have uh, developed also a lot of tools to, uh, and games to, to play with young people together to, dis, to, to stimulate the discussion uh, about different sorts of behavior that you can use and, and you can translate it if you want. So I just have one uh, flagsystem.org website to guide you. This is in English. Uh, the others are in Dutch. But if you want more information, I can easily give you some more examples and some more issues. Thank you.